Well, hey everybody, here go my mommy Leah's puppies. It is puppy pick week for these pup pups. And look, they want, they want to go. Who wants to go? Ah, uh, Gustavo's girl, of course. Yeah, Miss Pink, she's my only girl going. Where are you going? Where are you going, girl? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to San Diego. And then we got, uh, Mr. Blue, and I just tied a little piece of purple on him, kind of thing. But this is Mr. Blue without the kink tail. Because that's Mr. Blue right there. With the kink tail kind of thing. Miss Yeller. Yeah. Somebody said you was a little remote, Miss Yeller. What's going on? You're not going to get picked if you keep hanging out over there by yourself. <whistles> you want to come? Yeah, you want to come. Uh, you know, uh, the holder of the second pick asked uh, me if I could tell her what to do. She got a little Yorkie poo. I guess or maybe her roommate does. So she's like, uh, he's rambunctious kind of thing. He's the big boss in charge, so what would you recommend? And I don't know. It kind of depends what way you want to go. You know your Airedale is going to get bigger than that little beast. So do you want you want a little submissive Airedale like this dog here kind of thing that maybe, you know, be a little easier for the dog to get along with? Or do you want something more rambunctious? Do you want something that just won't leave you alone? That you know you're you're going to be man enough to handle that that Yorkie poo. Yeah, you are. And there's not that going to be that big a size difference at first. So by the time that Yorkie poo learns who boss is, yeah, you'll be the best friend he ever had, Miss Blue and Purple. I mean, Mr. Blue and Purple, Mr. Blue. Hi, 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 hi. And then the holder of the uh, what's wrong with Mr. Orange? What's wrong, Mr. Orange? Come here. And the holder of the first pick, well, they're looking for a, uh, you know, easygoing personality, smart dog, and, uh, you know, somebody that's got a, uh, I said easygoing, what was the other thing? Somebody just kind of, a puppy that's, that's personable kind of thing, so, and then they want a curly puppy. They want a puppy that looks like his dad, because they really like Duke. And I completely understand them, because I really like Duke, too. So, but I don't know. If I'm looking at curly coats, to my way of thinking, that, uh, that kinktail, <laughs> you've got a pretty curly coat, but I'm pretty sure they don't want Mr. Kinktail. How about your brother here? Well, I don't know. i got to tell you, I'm seeing a lot of curls out here. I'm not sure if that's going to be much help for you. How about you, Mr. Red? Look at that. Look at that right there. Yeah? Look at that. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of curls. Yeah? You are Mr. Red, right? He's like, yeah. Look at him kicking that rear leg, gut, being submissive. Yeah? And how about you? Oh, yeah, we already, we know Gustavo's girl. We know. How about Mr. Orange down here? We're not catching you at your best, Mr. Orange. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mr. Orange? I'm tired, boss. Where were you when I was out here ripping and running a few minutes ago? Well, that is true, but I was busy doing something else. I heard y'all out here being rambunctious. When they play, they play, they play rough. Yeah, they do. They rip and they run, they growl and they snort. They put their mouths on each other. I don't allow them to put their mouth on me, though. That's a no. That'll always get you chastised, won't it? Won't it? Yeah. So look, uh, size-wise, I don't see a lot of difference in the size either. You know, this this is pretty curly. That's a pretty curly, Mr. Blue and Purple. And yeah, Mr. Orange, you too. I see you. I see you. You're filling out nicely. Yeah, you're filling out nicely too. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that nibbling. So, you can't let your dog nibble you. You want my hand? You want it? Yeah, I think so. Mr. Red? So, anyhow, I think the holder of the first pick is looking... Yeah, and he looks really curly right there. Huh. I think the holder of the first pick is taking a close look at Mr. Red, Mr. Blue without the kink, and Mr. Orange. They don't seem particularly interested in Miss Yella, because she seems to be by herself, and they don't want that. They want a dog to be right up on them. And I'm not saying that's not what she's going to be when she's the only dog in charge kind of thing. Because that's what Airedales do. It's just, look at her. You know, she's she's got a right to be by herself. Because 
Them other puppies, them other boys will come right down here and pick on you. And I keep calling her her, but it's a he. They keep picking on you, don't they, Mr. Yeller? Huh? Yeah, that's a fresh yellow ribbon. I know. I know. My dogs ain't got no bugs. You ain't got no bugs? No, oh, boss. You don't let us have bugs. Yeah? All right. Well, this feels like it's dragging on. I'll, uh, I'll come back out here. You see what they've done to my Kong ball? This is all puppy action right here. That's the softball size. Yeah, I say get the size that you can make squeak. Yeah, who wants... Who's been... Who's been, I know, Gustavo's girl's been tearing this thing up, haven't you? You want it? Well, if you want a ball loving dog, Mr. Red loves that ball too. Mr. Orange. Yeah. Love the way you prance, Mr. Red. Let me get off the porch. Let me back up off the porch. Yeah? Love the way you, love the way you run, but I love the way all my dogs prance. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, folks. I don't think you can go wrong, but if you got more questions, ask them. I'll see if I can focus. Oh, and yeah, I gotta, I gotta get those three boys together because they want to just see those three boys. So I'll do that here soon. Talk to you next time.